Australian or is that British? Like, can someone let, let us, us know? know in the comments below? Because I think it's Australian, but Eden said it's British, so. Because I think Australian is like, hello. <laughs> You're blocked with Eden Miniman and Simona Catalano. Hi guys. It's been a while. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny anymore. It's so not like, funny. It's not funny. But like, I don't think it was ever low funny. Key. What? <laughs> it was funny like the first three times I did it, Eden. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to another week of your block. Look at that. I said it normally. We're normally like, welcome back to yeah. your block with Eden Middleman and some other guy. You know, I think that the nasally, the nasal, it just it's like more intriguing than just saying you're blocked, like you're. That's blocked. That's boring. But if you say like, you're, you're blocked, blocked. <laughs> it's like you can't you even see. It's like a buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> like it's the noise I hear in my head when they block someone. Like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, like blocked. Bye. So it just it makes more sense. It right? does. I think it's very on brand. It's just like today's topic. Well, I'm gonna just start by saying I am back. I'm alive. I'm well. Thank you so much for asking everyone. I yes. was concussed for a minute and I didn't stop talking about it because it was like the talk of the town or I made it the talk of the town you because I had nothing to else to talk about. <laughs> she, like, I was depressed. And she's like, I'm concussed. I'm like, I know. Everyone knows you're concussed. Even. Well, I'm not concussed anymore. I'm in recovery. We're doing well. I'm in recovery. I'm in recovery. Today, we are going to be talking about if you are in a relationship and your man is doing something that you are are not okay with. This is something I've struggled with. I think from maybe age 15 when I started having my first boyfriend, dating, whatever, you all that stuff. Young, I dated young. You dated young. Honey. A lot of things were done young. Anyways. Ooh. In some it's like, oh, but every guy does that. Every it's just guy. It's a guy thing. And like, basically we're here to tell you it is not a fucking guy thing. And if you are not okay with it, you need to vocalize and communicate that because <laughs> at least then he knows you're not okay with it, and if he continues to do it, then you have a problem. Yeah. And we're gonna go into examples. We're gonna zoom in, zoom out, is what we like to call it. We're gonna challenge these societal norms what the majority thinks is okay with. We're gonna specifically talk from our experiences because that's all that we're qualified to do. It's all that we're qualified <laughs> and, for. And this is what we've experienced, and so a lot of these topics are controversial. We are never trying to be aggressive. I'm just gonna preface this. I love using the word preface. We're not trying to be aggressive here. If that's how you're taking it, it's more so of like, check yourself because we're coming from a place of like passion. We're just passionate about how we feel and we know what we're okay with and what we're not okay with. So we're just gonna share. And the moral of the story I think is universal. If you're not, not okay with something, you don't need to be okay with yeah, it. Yeah, you don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Exactly. That's it. If it comes from the heart, you feel some type of way about it, think about it, challenge your thoughts. And if you still feel that way after 48 hours, then fucking go for it full force. That's my rule. We tend to, as women, just internalize and not communicate how we're feeling mm -hmm. because we don't want to feel alone. We don't want to like create an issue. We don't want to make it a bigger thing. We don't want to see. Or like, you're scared. Whatever. You're scared to be like that person that's exactly. talking about something that everybody else is cool with. So we are totally okay with being that person. Totally okay with getting angry at our okay, men. Right. Okay. <laughs> so like, let's go. My favorite pastime. Number one. Porn in the relationship with your man watching porn when you're not there. It's not an activity you do together. It's literally something that he is doing on his free time while he's in a relationship with you. Right. So when I was younger growing up um, and I was dating guys and whatever, I knew that they were watching porn. It wasn't secret. And for most people, we're like, well, everyone watches porn, right? That's where this underlying issue starts right. from. Everyone does it, whether you're single yeah. or not. And so I was like, oh God, like, I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable with my man watching porn while in a relationship, not with me at home, doing his thing and watching a bunch of naked girls on the fucking screen. Right. And I think for me, like, I would be uncomfortable with that because it's like, well, we're in a committed relationship. You're the only one I want to be with. Like, you're the only one I want to see and do those things with. And mm -hmm. it's like, also, like, if we're in a committed relationship, you probably have photos and videos of us and me anyway. So it's like, just use my nudes. Like, why do you need to go there? <laughs> I felt like it wasn't right. And you're still watching porn, you're watching naked people. To me, I'm like, it's the equivalent of cheating. It's like, you might as well be in the same room with them naked. Now, mm -hmm. a lot of guys look at me and they're like, you're crazy, like that's excessive, like it's not cheating, I'm not doing anything. 
you're still looking at it. You're actively sitting there and doing your thing without me, not letting me in on that. Right. And if I've communicated that to you, which is oftentimes the, the more difficult conversation or thing to do, but is the right move because you do need to make him know what makes you feel uncomfortable or else he'll be sitting there in the fucking dark. Yeah, exactly. Worrying about it and knowing he's doing it regardless. Yeah. And then seeing what can come out of that. So what happened was I actually vocalized this to my boyfriend and I told him, hey, you know what? Like, I've never been okay with that. Mm -hmm. And like, I know this sounds crazy, which is the problem because I was taught that what I was feeling was crazy. Which and it's is like not totally right. normal. Totally normal. It's, it's actually more normal than like pretending that you don't feel away. Oh, you do. Do you know what I yeah. Mean? There's bitches out there like, yeah, I don't care. I let my man watch porn. I let my man fuck bitches. Like, it's all good. It's like, mm. Mm, is it though? Are like, you good? Though? Are, like, you good? are you good? I don't know. Are you good? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think so. So I had that conversation with him and then that opened up a whole other realm. He's like, you know what? I actually kind of understand where you're coming from. Because at first he was challenging me. He's like, well, like, oh, well, right. uh, it's just like what guys do. It's like normal. It's like natural. I'm like, yeah. it's not natural. It's like, no, nah, babe. Like, is natural. Nah, I still like love you. And yeah. it's just like, like, do you though? Like, like, do you though? Why are you doing that? So, um, because sex is like really important to me in a relationship and like every person I've been with, like that was also pro probably one of the primary things we focused on. Exactly. So it, it, it also probably made you feel what I'm getting even more of a way. Cause it's like, well, we're good in that area. Yeah. Like I, so it's like, why are you like, I fuck you like every day, multiple times a day. Like what, 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 what? Why do you need right, that? Exactly. And then that opens up another conversation being like, well, you know what? I'm into this. I'm into that. And then that actually to me is so educational and amazing for the relationship and for your sex yes. life. Listen, like if you're my man and I'm down, like from the get go, I'm going to communicate. There's like maybe, maybe two things that are completely off the table, right? It's X and Y. And then She's it's like, but like, <laughs> no, um, but it's like everything else. You don't need to pull my leg. Like I like you. And like, obviously like your I'm pleasure done. is like. Yes, exactly. I'm down. Like, let's like, I'm, I'm ready to try. Like, let's go. Like, mm -hmm. I'm adventurous. Like, I want. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, just have that conversation with her. Like, mm -hmm. you might be surprised. Like, she's going to be your porn star. She wants to be your porn star. Like, stop it. That's I'm right. the fucking star that here. That is right. Me. That is right. Oh, we also have another thing that is like universal in a sense, right? You said oh, guys. We news. all know. We all know. There's the file right is gonna have it like hidden like in the back of like his fucking folders like tucked away you'll never be able to access it or get but it exists and it is there i'll tell you where it exists external hard drive motherfuckers don't you lie we all know these guys are shaking right now in their seats it, yeah the okay file. there and i've also had guys like be like they created like a new desktop like <laughs> like like password into a password to get like next this level is why shit. women are losing their fucking minds if you're like why is my woman so crazy it's your fault it's honestly <laughs> your fault the file is like literally just a place or space where a guy keeps all his past relationships, yes. his girls that he has nudes of, he, they save them. We spoke about this in our nudes episode, guys. If this you makes me want to vomit. It, it's honestly unfortunate, but the vast majority of guys, whether they're in committed relationships or not, have nudes from their past relationships with other girls, other things. And a lot of them, and I've spoken to my guy friends, I'm like, why don't you delete this? Because It's honestly, like a low-key pervy. It, no, it is pervy. The question always to any of our issues here when we feel like we don't want to accept something is what is the rationale behind this why do you have the file why are you watching porn why this why yes. that don't say that it's like to like reminisce or it's like what 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 reminisce it's Remin over or what like bitch you you got the bag like you secured the fucking bag you can like, die happy what now what the fuck do you need to reminisce on <laughs> like guys who said reminisce <laughs> reminisce bro go reminisce in a fucking corner by yourself bro. with your hand and your lotion okay? honestly why? my question is always why and they're literally like uh, mm, uh well i it's don't know like, i it's mean like, it's like a different tip it's like, like guys okay. like guys it's just like do it like what do you mean like every guy does it i don't understand if you're like with me in a committed relationship and like obviously my nudes are fucking bomb like i'm just just saying mm -hmm. just saying why do you need like that's gross like that's also rude i can guarantee you if your daughter if our daughter was having this issue with her boyfriend you would want to fucking kill him you want me to be okay with that but it's not okay for our daughter it's like no the dating energy is if it's not okay for my daughter it's not okay for me it's not okay for us Okay, so. so that's the file. It's another thing that, you know, growing up, every girl knows a guy has, and we try and turn a blind eye, but if you're really up at night, like, thinking about it, uncomfortable about it, and you're dating this guy. Honestly, just be like, listen. Call him like, out. Yeah, honestly, like, we. Be like, do you have a file? I guess. Out of curiosity, no, like, man, why do you guys have a file? Like, I don't know. What would be, what, here's what the, the thing. What is the What would be a valid, like, what would be valid? There like, isn't. There's literally nothing valid. Like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something. I had a file as a girl. 
Not news. You did? No, 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 not news. I have like a file of myself. Okay, so like, everybody... I can get why my man has a file of me. No, 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 not of myself. So um, when I was younger, I'd have sleepovers with like my, my best friend at the time. And we'd be like, oh my God, like what are our like top five guys that we would like bang in the future? We want to like make out with or whatever. So I made a file of like older guys that I knew of through the grapevine in my area and I put it in a file and I would just look at their pictures and be like, my name's so hot. But it wasn't okay, naked. But like a selfie though. But then like the minute I got that. a boyfriend, I know that's innocent, right? And you think he would ever saw a big deal. But even that, the minute I got a boyfriend, I deleted that shit so fucking fast because I was like, that's so disrespectful. Here's the thing. It's just like, you. I don't, I'm so like a one like man type of girl. Like if I'm with you, like I I don't find anybody else attractive. Here, like here, here, here's what it is. I know guys are different. Though. No. If you're monogamous, if we're in a monogamous relationship, which is like the only legal way of being kind of here. Like yeah, if it's like just, we're not trying to have seven wives. Here. Yeah, like it's that's not, not the vibe. Yeah, we're it's not, not like a, a farm. It's not polygamy and like whatever. Then what is your excuse for having access to other women while securing the fucking bag, while having me? The biggest catch. Do you know what I mean? Like that is the question. And so when you're able to answer that and give us a good answer, then we can talk. So right now we're done with that. The fucking file. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye to the file. Goodbye. Oh, we're moving into some heat. Right okay, now. Simone, I think you're gonna have to <sighs> Okay, give us we're the low down. We're moving into some heat. And like I know some of you are gonna be like, oh my god, this again. But the reason why it needs to be discussed yet again is because listen, I've had girls be like, oh, I don't know why you feel like so some type of way about your man liking other girls' photos. Why aren't you feeling? Why don't you <laughs> feel a fucking way? Because it's like literally like you're out for ice cream with your man and he's checking out fucking Sarah's ass in front of you. Like, and he's bro. like, and he's like, he goes up to her and he says, I like your ass in front of you. That is the equivalent like, of literally the like on Instagram. It's like, if I'm not okay <laughs> with you, like checking girls out when we're out together, like why would I like you liking girls pouring milk on their ass? Like oh my God. on Instagram. <laughs> like I just, I don't think that's a good vibe for us as a unit. And it's just signifying to me that you are literally a 10 year old boy. And just because every guy is gonna come at us and say, it's just a like, it's what guys do. We don't need to accept that bullshit excuse because honey, I was also a little player out in the day, liking guys' photos, following them, looking at their thing, creeping, and I know exactly why you're doing it. So don't come at me and tell me it's yeah. just a like. It's if just it's a just a like, why do it? Yeah. Avoid the heat, bro. I like literally avoid the heat. Like, like just don't it's like really it. It's really easy. I know you like it. Like, I know her tits are, obviously you like right. it. Like, I like it. Like, I get it. <laughs> but like, I'm not going to be out here like liking like dude's photos if I'm like with you. Like, you're not going to feel some type of way. Like, 100%. It's a respect. Simona Catalan will like this. Bro, you'd be fucking... FaceTiming me all up in my shit. So like, Why it's just we? like the reverse. Mm -hmm. It's the reverse, okay? I have the courtesy of not doing that. So I think that you should extend me that same courtesy. And like also, it's like half naked like bikini pics. It's not just like, it's not like a style photo. It's, it's like pure like, bro, her, her vagina lips are up. It all comes back down to, if it's just a like or if it's so innocent, then why are you doing it? If you zoom out and look at the bigger picture, besides it being Instagram or like or insignificant to the greater good of fucking society, think about, well, what, if you have control of your thumbs, if you have control right. over these things, why do you go ahead and do, it is an active choice that you make. I don't care if you're yeah. sleeping. You're used to doing this. Your thumb is working away at liking these photos. Why? And then we can even zoom further and be like, why are you even following those people? Those right. people? Do you support that? Do you support girls showing? And you know what? If you do, that's fine. You better be single. Because, yeah, like if you're single, like, like whatever you No want. problem. That's the rationale behind that. And that is something that we've had to really work and, and yeah. almost defend ourselves. Like always. Because like, people are like, why? And like... Here's the thing, when girls come at me with the why do you feel away, it's like, listen, am I getting on your ass as to why you don't feel away? Like, if you're okay with your man do you? in all these bitches' likes, like, fucking great cool. for you. What are you doing is my question. That's my follow-up question. Well, if you're cool with that, then you're for sure doing some next level shady shit too. Or, or you just obviously don't can't care. communicate. Or no, can't. you can't <laughs> communicate. You can't communicate with your man that that's not what, or you have and he just ignores you. Or... I don't know. And what does that say? 
Do you see what I'm saying? So we like to uh, hold ourselves accountable. You are supporting these people online by right. doing that little like. I know it doesn't cost you a dollar, but it is saying something. There's a bigger picture to it. And I'm not an naive little girl that's gonna be like, oh, it's just a like. I'm actually gonna think about it. Like, can I post up like that? Like, are you gonna feel a way if I'm posting like oh, that while sure. we're together? For sure. Guys hate when they're are you? It, oh, for sure. They love seeing it. So it's like you love seeing it and mm -hmm. you wanna like it, but also like you don't want me to be posting up. Okay, got it here. These are just examples that trigger us. So if it doesn't trigger you, it's not a big deal. We're not trying to come at anybody, women, men, do you, whatever makes you feel comfortable. That's yeah. what we preach here at Your Blocked. Um, we just don't want anyone to be a fucking sheep or for girls who, you know, are just coming out of their shell and becoming, you know, a woman or whatever to feel like they need to accept what everybody else is accepting. Because if yeah. it's not cool with you and if you sat on it and if you challenged your thoughts and if you had conversations and you still feel that way, that's valid. And if your man doesn't see eye to eye with you or doesn't give you a chance to speak and he doesn't give himself a chance to get to your level and think about it that like that and view mm -hmm. your side, you need to reevaluate who you're with. And I need to because because at the end of the day, it boils down to your morals and your values and respect for each other. And I think that's why it irritates me so much because I feel like it challenges those. Like there's certain things that I'm not going to be okay with, and like I expect you to be on the same level as me, like yeah. uphold like those standards, and like like bring him up. And if you're like are you drowning, then like just stay at the bottom. Like just fucking stay just at the bottom. Just fucking drown. It's fine. So we're all about leveling up here. And I yes, think that's level important. The fuck up. Even if you've been doing these things and now you're sitting here and you're like wait why do I do these things what does that say about me how does that make me seem how, why like why am I doing something that's so irrelevant or unimportant and yeah. you change your ways that's you leveling up that's you growing challenging yourself getting out of that shell that the fucking society I feel like has put us in especially the millennials and that generation like yeah. that's kind of what we're surrounded by that's all we fucking know and if you're able to step away from that and look at it and challenge it then you're winning. You are winning. You're fucking winning. Especially if you like begged a, like a bad bitch. A bad bitch and mm -hmm. you don't need that gram. I mean, we've got a lot of opinions over I here. mean, you're an exotic animal at that point. Like, we don't see those. I'm a fucking, I we love don't that. See I'm those. an exotic animal. I like that. We don't see those. We're not talking about those animals. The okay, oh, no, it's different. No, like, we're talking about exotic Those are ones. raccoons. Yeah. We're exotic. What's an exotic? Like, like those cheetahs. Like the extinct, almost extinct. Like there's only one It's standing. rare. Yeah, it's rare. Yeah. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. Get it tatted. In sum, if you're not okay with it, communicate that. Once you communicate, if he's still doing it, then it becomes an issue and a problem. Issue, huh? Hold yourself accountable. Hold Vocalize. him accountable. Yes. Vocalize it. And uh, we'll see you back here next week. I'm just going to sing. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Definitely hit the bell to be notified so that you don't miss what we're fucking talking about because shit's about to get unbelievable. It's gonna be insane. Actually. Okay, we'll see you guys back here soon. Bye bye. Bye.